coming in. Aam Admi Party is claiming cross voting. This is the MCD battle that we are talking about. Uh, that after the three failed attempts to elect a Delhi mayor, in the fourth attempt, after much ruckus and shameful scenes of violence that were seen at the civic center, there was finally an election of mayor. Now, the Aam Admi Party is claiming cross voting. BJP councillors are somewhere confident for their three members. They say calculations are in their favor. Official announcement will be made in some time. Re-evaluation is going on. So the mayor and the deputy mayor has been elected, but there are other important positions and a committee that needs to be formed. And that entire process is happening at the civic center. Well, we saw violence that uh, panned out. The, the councillors were seen throwing chairs and objects and articles at each other. Unruly behaviour that was witnessed at the Civic Centre here in the national capital. Akash Sharma with us on the broadcast. Akash, tell us more about what's happening right now. So, Anusha, today was a standing committee members election and, uh, you know, total 242 out of 250 members uh, cast their vote today and as of now, counting is going on while Aam Aadmi Party is claiming that four of their members are going to standing committee. On the other hand, BJP is claiming that three of their members are going to standing committee. Total members that have to be elected from this particular house are six. It means that two members, two members of the BJP that, are, you know, that, that, that BJP can comfortably get and three members from the Aam Aadmi Party that Aam Aadmi Party can comfortably get. The fight is for six members and as of now you are seeing that Aam Aadmi Party is raising slogans. In fact, for a bhagwad of the Aam Aadmi Party is claiming that uh, BJP has, BJP councillors have basically cross-voted and have voted for Aam Aadmi Party. It means that if they are giving preference to the Aam Aadmi Party members, then Aam Aadmi Party can get edge and hence can get both of their members to be elected to standing committee. But as of now, we are waiting for the formal announcement. In some time from now, we are expecting that mayor would be announcing as to which party has, how many votes and what is the difference. Also, let me mention that just a few minutes back, mayor has announced that one vote has been cancelled because uh, you know, some numbers were written up there on the ballot paper. But as of now, we are waiting for the formal announcement. Both the parties are claiming their victory and both the parties are claiming their edge. However, in some time from now, we'll get some sort of clarity as to how many members of which party are going to be uh, going to the standing committee. Mm -hmm. Um, so you have the mayor and the deputy mayor, Akash, which has already been uh, selected slash elected within the uh, uh, within the you know assembly of councillors. But are there other important positions within the MCD that need to be filled? What exactly is the process which is happening right now at the civic centre? So initially there were three elections. First one is for mayor election, second yeah. one is deputy mayor election, and third one was of our standing committee members. So right. talking about standing committee, we know that mayor and deputy mayor have been elected and now it is the standing committee members election. And as, as far as standing committee members election is concerned, so we know that standing committee comprises of 18 members, 12 of which uh, come from zones, and six have to be elected from the house. We saw the drama on Wednesday, but as of now we are seeing this drama once again, where election process, in fact the voting process has been completed, but now while it is about counting, so we are seeing that even when the re-evaluation re is going on, both the parties, Rama, the party and BJP, are trying to see the drama. In fact, both the parties are trying to show their confidence that their member is getting an edge, in fact, their party is getting an edge. As I mentioned earlier, the fight is for six members, and both the parties are claiming that their party will be giving six members to the standing committee. And also, talking about numbers, Anusha, so, you know, one-seventh of the total attendance of this particular house, because as far as the nominations are concerned, so we have total seven nominations from both the parties. Four are from Aam Aadmi Party, three are from BJP. And going with that match, you know, we need one-seventh of the total number. It means Akash, I'm just going to interrupt you there for a second. Let's listen into what's happening at the Civic Center. I want to cut across back to Akash who is with us on the broadcast. Akash, uh, we have seen the unfortunate scenes come out at the Civic Centre. Uh, unruly behaviour that was witnessed on both the sides. 
and after much ruckus you had the election of the mayor and the deputy mayor right now talking about the standing committee members how many members need to be elected let's once again try and listen in what's happening inside Well, at the Civic Centre right now, there's a re-evaluation which is happening. Standing committee members that need to be elected. Councillors continue to raise slogans. Uh, you already have, fortunately, after the fourth attempt, a mayor and a deputy mayor that has been elected from the Aam Aadmi Party. Uh, a battle that had reached none other than the Supreme Court of India. And finally, despite Supreme Court orders, there was no proper decorum at the Civic Centre and there was unruly behaviour, uh, things that were hurled at each other. Uh, almost attacks that the councillors made on each other and after that violence and ruckus and un unruly behaviour we saw the election and right now once again because there are certain other members that need to be elected of a particular standing committee you're witnessing the sloganeering and uh, Aam Aadmi Party is claiming that there is some cross voting that has happened well this is the unified municipal corporation of Delhi for the first time and uh, the MCD is going to be very very critical the control of the MCD is going to be very very critical as to how Delhi is going to be governed we'll continue dipping in 